Hello everyone, this is Randy, your sewing machine man. And what we have here is a Husqvarna Viking Designer Ruby. Not my favorite machine. I don't care for Husqvarna Vikings at all. I never did. I doubt if I ever will because every one they make, it's a little bit more plastic and a little bit more pot metal and a little bit chintzier. And I'm being kind because to say the word hate, hate is such a terrible thing. So I'll say I dislike these machines a great deal. They're nothing but a failure. Uh, I don't know of any of them that they haven't just cut every corner you can cut. But as long as it says Husqvarna Viking, that means something to a lot of people like Singer and Brother. So they just keep shoving them out there for the public and the public grabs them. Of course, this is all my opinion based on 50 years of experience working with these machines. They've been around for a while and so have I. So I haven't uh, really been impressed by much Viking does. They just go to the plastic and... Uh, the hook in here, it's a metal one, but it's not a chrome-plated steel that I can see. The needle hits it and takes knock notches out of it, and you got to polish it out because it just gets banged up because it's just like pot metal. It's just really inferior, I think. Uh, this way, I took this apart, and it's got a little cutting apparatus over here that works every now and then. And, you know, it's got the cool thing that when you push on the presser foot, or, or your foot control, rather, it raises the presser foot up, then you can repos reposition it and then move your fabric around. It's got a couple little gadgets on it. And they get a sales pitch from a Viking Husqvarna dealer. And, uh, you know, their bills are due too, so they'll tell you whatever it takes to get this thing out the door. Uh, while I have you here, I want to show you this, uh, very important. This has been like the week for people with the wrong spool stops. See, a spool stop is supposed to be the size of the thread. The real tiny ones, like on this one, goes for the real small spools and sometimes they come with three sizes the medium size goes to a little bit larger spool the large one goes to a spool like this because you always want the thread to be peeling off of the spool stop you don't want it running off the edge of the spool I had to polish this one off because the thread the edges of the thread spools are all just real rough and jagged and the thread hangs, 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 jerks the needle forward, makes it break. So get your right spool pin. You got three of them on there. They usually come with three. If not, order one. It has to be just larger than the spool. It'll cause a malfunction. It'll keep your machine from working properly. It'll tear your machine up. Something as simple as that. It's like threading, needle, thread, spool stop. It's always the simple things that trash people's machines because they think huge. They think grand slam home run when it's always the little bitty bunt single that uh, wins the game. So, small ball, the wrong spool stop, cause a problem when I take it back to her tomorrow until I get the right spool stop on there and she can cure that, no problem. Meanwhile, I'll tell her not to take it apart again and you gotta be careful in there. She had uh, something sticking in there like a brush. She was brushing and flew stuff all over the place. And some of these screws in there are real tiny. Springs are real tiny. They're very, almost like hair. And they'll shoot across the room and it's game over. So you gotta be careful. And uh, they say, well, they tell us not to use air. I tell you to use air to blast just a little puff, and you'll see whatever's in there waving at you, and you reach in with your tweezers. You know, these little guys, you reach in and grab it. You don't have to blast it out and rearrange everything. Just a tiny little puff of air. You'll see whatever's in there, and you pull it out. So, uh, Husqvarna Viking. You know, I can't tell people I just don't want to fix them anymore because sometimes it's something simple, like the needles in backwards or the, the spool stop. It's, you know, sometimes it's... But I can't re-engineer a machine that's not, in my mind, engineered properly. Not a fan. Husqvarna Viking designer.